Now to our other top story, the CDC's potential approval of the COVID vaccine for young children. If green-lighted, kids between the ages of 5 and 11 could begin getting their shots as soon as tomorrow. CDC advisors are voting on whether to okay the Pfizer shot for this age group. Their dosage is about a third of the one given to people 12 and older. The final decision will then be in the hands of CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky. To talk more about all of this, I'd like to bring in Executive Vice President of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Dr. Julie Morita. Dr. Morita, welcome. Great to see you again. So given the FDA's authorization of this shot, is the CDC's approval virtually a done deal? So I think the key thing to think about is that there's different approvals that are happening at different levels. So the FDA reviewed the data last week to see, are the vaccines safe? Are they effective? Are they appropriate to use to five, for five to 11 year olds? What this CDC's advisory committee will do is they will review the data and look at specific recommendations, how the vaccine should be rolled out, uh, who should get it at what time, um, there's questions related to whether or not a child is vaccinated at 11. Do they get um, the same dose if they turn 12 when they are due for their second dose? Those kinds of questions are the ones that the ACIP and the CDC will be wrestling with today. So it's likely the vaccines will be approved, but there'll be more specific recommendations that come out of this committee meeting today. So how significant is the timing of this potential approval with the holiday and flu seasons right around the corner? As you point out, Tanya, this is a critical time for people, number one, in terms of wanting to be together with family and in close quarters. It's also a time when there's other respiratory viruses that are being transmitted from person to person. So influenza season should be on the rise. So it is critical that our children and our adults get vaccinated both against the flu, flu virus as well as COVID, because we don't want necessarily to have these two viruses peaking at the same time, which could really potentially overwhelm the, the, the medical system. So having a vaccine available at this time really helps to prevent some diseases as we're heading into Thanksgiving, as we're heading into the, the, Christmas, or the December holidays as well. And a poll from the Kaiser Family Foundation finds that three in 10 parents say they will not get their children vaccinated at all. So clearly there's still some you know, information and knowledge that parents need. Uh, what do you believe parents most need to know about this Pfizer shot, especially since most children are required to receive a host of other vaccinations just to attend school? Yeah, Tanya, when I look at these survey data, what it does is it makes me look back to what happened with the adult vaccination program as well. We had higher rates of hesitancy or people not really wanting to get vaccinated or being uncertain about it, sitting on the fence regarding the vaccines when the vaccines first rolled out. What we'll see happens over time is that those who are eager to get the vaccine and get the vaccine and the children do well, that those people who are sitting on the fence are likely to change their minds and actually jump in and get the vaccines for their children too. So I think we'll see these percentages just shifting and changing as time goes on. I think the key thing from my perspective is really that parents often, many children or most children have health care providers that their parents trust. And so if parents have questions about the safety or the effectiveness of the vaccine based on their specific issues about their children, whether their children have allergies or underlying health conditions, they really need to reach out to their health care providers and talk to them and ask the questions that are making them pause or hesitate about getting vaccines. Uh, for those people who don't have health care providers, then reaching out to health departments, public health agencies to talk with them would be is also an option because many of them are standing up systems to actually help parents make decisions and, and be informed as they're trying to decide about whether or not to get the vaccine. To me, it's clear people who are unvaccinated are at much higher risk for getting sick, getting hospitalized and dying. And so the, and the vaccines are safe and effective. So it's really important for children to get vaccinated. Dr. Julie Morita, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. Thank you.